Okay, so what I was trying to do is I was trying to uh, make, make an animation for that. I need to first um, import uh, the pyplot, matplotlib, and numpy, and then I just made uh, a variable called t and y, which basically does uh, cosine of t, and then I just do plot show. And then if I run this, which is control shift B on a windows, then you should see a plot of cosine of T. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a blob and just make it go along that. And that is basically, uh, it'll introduce you to plotting and doing an animation. Okay, so uh, when we make up animation, what we do essentially is uh, we put the blob wherever we want it. And then we will pause the screen for that much time for a very short period of time. Then we'll erase it and then plot it again a new place and just keep doing that. And that's how you can get, generate a, a animation. So what I need to do is let's just uh, run a for loop. I in range when t. So what this command does is basically it takes the length of t, which is this variable. So it is uh, in this case, 0 0.1, we count the number of uh, elements in t. So it goes from one all the way to uh, the length of t. And for that, each each variable, I need to say plt dot plot t i y. So now what's doing is it's basically plotting uh, on that plot y versus t uh, t comma y. And I'm going to just to distinguish it from other things. I just give it a green color. And then I want to put in this case I want to put a marker like a blob. So I'll just say marker equals O, so that's a circle. And then uh, it'll be too small. So I'm just gonna make it slightly big, marker size 10. So that basically does the action of plotting. Now what I need to do is plt dot uh, pause, zero point, you can specify some speed. And this is really dependent on your computer. So if you have an older computer, you'll see that you might have to give a, a, a bigger, a, a, Shorter pause because then it runs slowly. It's really system dependent. And we can just do control shift P. And so you see that it actually created these dots. And you really don't want this. You want only one dot to show up. So what you need to do is we need to delete the older one. And this is something which I skipped here. So I'm just going to create a temporary, temporary variable for, for this um, uh, command. And I just say, TMP or TMP dot remove. So what it does is basically removes that. So it plots it, pauses for uh, 0 0.02 seconds and then removes it. So now we can run this. And then that looks more realistic. If it's too, too fast, then uh, increase this delay. And it goes a little bit slower. But the same, as I said, the same code will produce different uh, speeds depending on uh, what computer you're using. Okay, so that's just showing plot, but we could take this idea and just use it for almost uh, everything in this code. So that is plot, pause, remove the thing on the screen which you don't want, and then plot it again. You could also create one for that one, but since that item is stationary, which is the curve, I'm not really moving that. <laughs> okay, so now what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually do one more thing before we move on from uh, Python to robotics. Uh, I want to show you how you can make uh, surface figures. So it will be basically rectangles and circles because you want to you just don't want to just make dots, right? You want to make lines and so on. So that's the last thing before we move on to uh, the main part of the course. So let's open a new file. Okay. And I'm going to call that, let's see. Uh, control or uh, control S. Let's call it test animation two five. So first, I'll just show you how to draw circles and rectangles and so on, and then we'll make an animation which involves moving these uh, circles or rectangles. So as like before, I would just import these two things. So I'll just copy paste them. Um, first thing let's do is see how to make a rectangle. So that, as I said, the easiest way to learn about this is to just search for it. So uh, Python rectangle 
function. Let's see if we get, get something there. Uh, let me search for, I know it's in the matplotlib, so I'm just going to search matplotlib. So it's called actually called a patch. And uh, the command for that is something like this. Okay, so the, the first variable is x, y. So it shows you here what is x, y. It's basically the bottom left corner. And then it shows you the what else you need, height, width. And then I think the angle would be, if you want it at tilted or not, it's not shown here, but we can play with it to see what it actually does. And these are extra arguments. So let's just take this and try to use this to make a diamond. I'll just copy this here just so that we can refer to it as needed. And uh, plt dot rectangle. I'm just going to randomly put it at the zero comma zero, and let's make it uh, two by two or two by one. Produce the figure that was the, this command, but didn't quite plot the rectangle. Uh, I'm guessing that it's because I did not really specify a color to it. Let me just specify a color and see if that works. So those extra arguments which you saw here. Uh, are basically, and you can refer to the documentation, is basically putting the color, uh, the opacity, and so on. So color equals, uh, I'm just going to put green. So let's create, so this basically creates, adds a subplot. Subplot is like if you want to have multiple plots, but here the subplot is one, 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 which means that it's one sub, one by one subplot, and this is the first subplot. Um, let's put that here. And we should be we should be good to go, I think. Let's try this. Okay, so at least this came up. Uh, we don't have the the rectangle. So I'm missing something on the code. Yeah, so what I'm missing is that I need to it's not enough to just define the uh, the, the plot, the patch, but I need to add the patch. And that was something I was forgetting. And you know, I, the way I learned this is basically I took the code from somewhere, I pasted it, but I forgot that I need to add patch. So I need to add, create a variable for that patch. So let me call that uh, uh, rectangle. And then say add patch. I think this should work. AX dollar. So I need to add it to the uh, axis. Okay, so finally, so this is goes from zero to one uh, on the X axis, zero to one on the Y axis. Uh, I had defined it to be two, one, which means that the width should be two and the height should be one. And clearly this is not doing a good job because my axis has been one by one. So I need to, Besides the axis, so what I do is essentially uh, put the limits, x and y limit, and then uh, we'll see that it'll plot the complete rectangle. So let's put the axis. Okay, so it looks much better now. You can see the axis zero to two, uh, zero to two on the y axis, and this is what I want. So my goal is to next to draw a circle. So let's do that. And for that, we again go to the documentation and search matplotlib uh, circle. Okay, so the circle is defined by two things. One is the x, y, that's the center of the circle, and then the radius. So let's just take this. So let's call it circle equals plt dot circle. Um, 
So this, so let's put it at, so since this rectangle is two one, uh, I would probably put it at uh, X is one and then Y axis, I want to put it probably at uh, uh, let's say 1.5. And then the radius, let's just choose 0.5. Okay, so once you define that, you need to add it. So AX start at patch. So there it is. Now you see that it's supposed to be a circle, but it doesn't look like a circle, it looks like an ellipse. And that's because that the aspect ratio is still not set. So I need to change the aspect ratio. And this is something which uh, uh, you need to do probably for all your simulations, just copy paste these lines of code that is set the aspect ratio to be equal. Right here, set it up. Okay, so that looks much better. Now we want to, I want to just do a sunrise sunset. So it's basically a yellow circle which goes up and down. For that I need to change the color of that circle to yellow. So let's do that. Just like this, we say our color equals yellow. Yeah, that's better. It's a little big, so let's just reduce the size to uh, maybe half the size. Okay, that looks better. Now, um, one more thing I wanted to show you is you can actually draw a line and the command for line again, go and search for matplotlib line. Okay, this is the road I wanted. You can actually plot a line by just using plot, uh, which means that you need to define points for the endpoints and you'll get it. But there's another command which, which is done using patches. So mat plot live uh, line, it's called line 2D. And it's a bunch of arguments. Let's just copy this. And uh, Okay, so what we'll call this is line equals uh, line to B. Uh, it needs the X data, Y data. So I have this open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a line right here. So I need it, the X position is uh, zero and two and the Y position is constant, it's one. So X is zero, two and Y is it doesn't change this one. And then I need to specify a color. So color equals black. And then uh, just like any, everything else here, you need to uh, add this. So the command for adding it to the plot is ax dot add underscore line and it's called line. This is uh, MATLAB syntax. I shouldn't write MATLAB syntax. It should be zero comma two, one comma one. So let's see what the error is. Line two D is not defined. Yeah, so it can't be just line two D, which is a plt dot. Okay, so you can barely see it. So you can actually change the size of the line. Uh, if you look through this, there's a line width, which probably suggests that I should use that. So line width equals, I'm just going to say some random number and then check if that works. So five. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so now we got the whole thing working. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably start the sun right down there. So X is one, Y is 0.5, and then get it to go up and come down. Okay, so that would be the piece where I limit. So these things, other things remain constant. So let's see, move it to X equals one, Y equals 0 0.5. So one, 0 0.5. Sets inside. 
that's that's not a good ideal outcome, right? Because you ideally want to uh, not show it popping up. So the the reason why it's showing up is because I defined the line after, oh, sorry, the, I added the line, added the circle afterwards. So if I actually put it E4 rectangle, I think you will not see the, or you should not see the circle. It's better, right? So we should always do that. That is first add the circle and then add the rectangle. And you have to do this um, in the in the code in the for loop because if you don't do that, then you'll see that the circle the circle will come out of the, the rectangle. Okay, so we've sort of developed the code. What remains to be done is the thing which is moving is the cir the circle and it's only moving in the along the y-axis. All I need to do is now take the y coordinate of the circle and just make it move the way I want. So it starts from 0.5. Let's say it goes to 1.5 and come back to point, come, comes back to 0.5. So I just have to put uh, put this in the loop and just just make it go from 0 0.5 to 1.5 and back. So let's do that. Okay, so first thing I need is um, I need to generate points for the for the circle to travel. So let's call that uh, y1 equals np dot length space. So I said 0 0.5 to 1.5. And then um, just going to randomly put 20 points from 0.5 to 1.5. And then let's run a for loop. I equals um, so I in range Y1. So the len Y. Okay. All these things should be um, in the loop. And then remember that I'm, I keep need to keep uh, drawing the circles. I, I can't have it here. So I'm going to comment this line. Right here, copy that. And I said the y axis, the y coordinate will change. So y and y1, y1. Okay, one more thing before I, I plot this. Uh, I'm going to have so many of these opening in the back end, just close them all. And then uh, here I'm going to put plt dot close uh, because after it's done all these plots will basically close. I also need to put the pause and I want to put the pause after all the aspect ratio otherwise that aspect ratio will not be shown up. Okay, I think I'm ready to make the animation now. So let's do control shift P. Pause is not defined, it's part of plt. Okay, so you saw that it actually uh, did. I forgot to delete it. So I need to delete uh, the circle. So after I pause, I just do circle dot remove. And then I think the speed was a little bit too fast. So let's just make it point. Okay, so it just came up, but didn't quite go down. Uh, so I can change that by defining another variable. Let's call it y2 equals np dot length space. Uh, it's go from 1.5 uh, to 0.5. And now if I want it to go slower, then I just increase the number of points. So let's just make it twice as slow, twice as slow compared to y1. Uh, let me just combine these two. So y equals np dot concatenate. That would be y1, y2. So the way I got this command is I just searched for um, Python join two arrays or something like that, and I found this. And it's just got an example, I put it there. So this should be then y. 
and then that's dot y, and then p should be also control shift p. Okay, so that's how you do animations in uh, in uh, Python. You basically draw whatever you want. You put a pause, then remove whatever you don't want, and just keep turning in the loop. If you want to make this go twice or three times, what you can do is uh, so this whole thing needs to be executed, let's say three times. So then I go for J in range three. So I'll go zero, one, two, so three times. And then don't forget that you need to indent this. Otherwise it's not nested in the for loop. Let's run this. Yeah, that goes in. And it comes up and do it three times. Okay, so uh, that's how you well do animations with uh, Python. Any questions? Okay, so so what I showed you is this is probably how people program. That is, they do something, try it out, and this is the approach we I would recommend you take in the course. That is, if you are doing any robotic simulation, uh, don't just write. Like 20, 30, 40 lines of code and then check. Try to write a functional block which will give you an output and then see the output. If it's not what the expectation, then see what the error is. Sometimes there are a syntax error, like I have it there. It shows there what the error is. Debug that, go move on to the next one. If you don't do that process, then it will not really work. And so it's very uh, logical in the sense that you do something, you check, if it's an error, you fix it, you go to and just do a Google search and you'll find how to. You see in Python, it turns out that the same thing can be done in 10 ways. Uh, so you can do it anyway. It doesn't matter how you do it. Uh, what matters is the output is what you expect it to be. 